Louis, another short break before we hit this last block of the season just gone. The dust has settled from that Coldy game. What were your thoughts on how things went? Yeah, it was a tough afternoon. Coldy came down and they really put us to the sword. They were, they were a good team. Um, physically, they were really tough. I mean, it, the big work got out of that game were, I suppose, with some of our discipline staff. I mean, from a forwards perspective, certainly we, we defended far more malls on our five metre line than we should be. Uh, we defended them really well, but that that came at a result, unfortunately, of the you know, cards and things like that. So that's definitely been a focus. And look, we're just feeling quite good after the after a week off. You mentioned the work ons there. Obviously, we've had that week off to rest the bodies, which has probably been as beneficial as anything with our recent injury list. Does this week allow us to resume our focus in some of those key areas to do those work ons? Yeah, it does. It does. We've given the guys an opportunity to refresh mentally and physically, and, and we have as well as coaches. And, and we've come back in with some clear goals for this week, and a lot of them are around some uh, inefficiencies, I suppose, against Caldy. So yeah, that, that's been a great opportunity for us to do that. And yeah, we're, we're firmly focused on Doncaster this week now. And a few changes this week as well, namely a new halfback pairing of Rory Dawson and Arwell Robson. Will Crane and Will Gibson return to the starting fifteen, and also great to see the experience of Tom Castle returning back on the bench. Yeah, great. Yeah, so welcome guys coming back into the group. So Gibbo was carrying some bumps. He went hard for four games or five games in a row, I think. So we need to give him a bit of a blow against Caldy. So he comes back into the group. And similarly with, with Ben Grubb, he's gone fantastically well for us for three weeks. And he, we're managing him a little bit this week. So so that's a great opportunity to do that when guys come back fit. And yeah, Kess and Craner bring back some really great experience for us. So that, that'll be uh, interesting to see how they go. And Doncaster, our host this weekend, a side we've enjoyed many close battles with over the years. Always a tough proposition at Castle Park, and especially when they'll no doubt be smart enough to defeat there last weekend. Yes, yeah, really, really hard place to go. Really hard place to go. I mean, we, we had a tough loss up there last year at a critical point of the season. Um, yeah, it was. It's a tough place to go. I think uh, we, we know what's coming. I mean, they, they were obviously be disappointed after the game against Jersey last week, but Jersey are a team that are flying high at the moment. So. Uh, Anyone would do well to beat them at the moment. So yeah, it's going to be a tough encounter, it always is, and a physical battle, no doubt. And just finally, as we look ahead for this last block of the campaign and, and saw the business end, if you like, what would constitute as a good season for us? We've climbed the championship table in recent weeks and have that cup semi-final at the Menet look, to look forward to next month, obviously, as well. Yeah, it's lots to look forward to. I mean, we've grown significantly since Christmas. We talked about that, about that a lot. We weren't happy with our form pre-Christmas and that we set a, a target for the guys to, to achieve pre, pre-league finish. Um, it's fairly probably quite obvious what that what that would be, but um, yeah, we were looking to build momentum and grow uh, and build momentum from re- previous performances, and then we can hopefully build some momentum going into that big cup semi final on the fifth of May. Well, looking forward to seeing more of that this weekend. Cheers for your time, Louis. Cheers, boss. Thanks, mate.